Hello and welcome to the Johns Creek Art Center. I'm Stephanie Donaldson, Executive Director of the Center. And I wanted to welcome you to our exhibition called Picking Up the Pieces, an exhibition featuring the work of 17 talented artists affiliated with the Atlanta Collage Society. It goes without saying that this is not how we plan for you to view this amazing showcase of talented Atlanta area collage artists. During this challenging period of social distancing, we all have to be a bit adaptive and innovative. So welcome to Picking Up the Pieces Virtual Exhibition. Enjoy. I am honored to announce the award winners. The first place award winner is Sharon Crumley for Entitled Number 14, a woven paper collage. The second place winner is Elise Aronson for her highly original mixed media work. The third place ribbon is awarded to Sherry Baird for the Mixed Media Abstract Collage Nets and Grids number 9. Ellen Stein is a recipient of the Johns Creek Art Center Board of Directors Award for her Abstract Collage Itineraries number 1. Congratulations to all these accomplished artists on their recognition. Before we get started, I want to share with you a little bit about the Atlanta Collage Society. The Collage Society was formed in 2006 to foster appreciation and increase knowledge of collage as an art form. This society has grown to approximately 60 members, an ever welcoming and inclusive organization. This group embraces artists working in all aspects of collage, including mixed media and assembly artist. The Atlanta Collage Society, known as ACS, encourages and welcomes artists of all stages in their careers. The term collage was coined by the Cubist artist Pablo Picasso and George Brox around 1910. The word comes from the French word color, which means to glue. Picasso and Brox and their circle of progressive young artists constantly challenged the notions of what art could be and what qualified as art. Eventually, they began gluing bits of newspaper, magazine pages, and other materials to their canvas painting. The next almost inevitable step was for artists to begin to create works formulated entirely of disparate pieces assembled to create a dynamic new whole. While paper and glue were initially the primary collage material, other materials were soon incorporated into the medium. Dottists like Francis Picaba and surrealist artists embraced this new form, creating imaginative, dreamlike assemblages where the whole was clearly greater, but oh so different than the sum of the parts. Wood, string, china, fragments, and other found objects significant to the artist found their way into the works, leading to the art form known today as mixed media. This exhibition clearly demonstrates that stylistically and formally collage can take many forms, delicate and erythral, brash and bold, mixed media or strictly paper. Collage speaks many languages. 
The 17 Atlanta Collage Society artists participating in Picking Up the Pieces each bring their own unique vision and artistic inspirations to their work. Strolling through the exhibit, one cannot help but marvel at the myriad of approaches to mixed media collage that is represented. Elise Aronson's Symphonic Geomancy uses an upcycle guitar body as primary support. It is pristine and beautifully crafted. Seemingly disparate, elements of marquetry, metal, and other materials create a harmoniously, totally unexpected sculpture. Susan K. Friedland is another Picking Up the Pieces artist that has wholeheartedly embraced mixed media collage. Her large scale and compelling portrait of a horse forged in the hearts of the gods is clearly enhanced by the incorporation of real horse hair. Other Picking Up the Pieces artists exhibit a lighter approach to mixed media collage. The playful quality of Terry Hitzig's Puzzle Number no. 4 owes much to the painted pieces of a commercial jigsaw puzzle. This dreamy, subjective, otherworldly quality that reflects the inner world of the artist rather than an objective reality seen in the diminutive yet strongly compelling Kaboom by Moriah Danino. Artists working primarily in paper collage are, of course, well represented in picking up the pieces. Roswell artist Sharon Crumley's delicately colored woven paper collages clearly demonstrate the versatility of this medium. Crumley is interested in exploring the creative possibilities of abstraction in her work. She dyes and colors gorgeous textured papers which are woven into complex forms evocative of the gentle movements of the wind or sea. Speaking of her work in a recent interview, Crumley commented on the satisfaction of the expressive act in dyeing her own papers. For Crumley, the dyed woven strips of paper are my symbolism for the ties that bind us. Cynthia Friggen is another ACS artist who masterfully explores the expressive possibilities of paper. In her works, Sing of Me, O Muse, and State of the Union, meticulously cut strips of lusciously colored paper are reassembled into entirely new images that encourage the viewer to interact and interpret the artist composed images. Sherry Baird, prominent Atlanta collage artist and popular art teacher, frequently embraces a mixed media approach in her colorful abstract collages. Nets and Grids number nine is the third place winner in picking up the pieces. Number nine possesses a monumentality that belies its relatively small physical dimensions. The deep sumptuous red of the net and the tall vertical red tower invites the viewer to contemplate the artist's intention or simply to enjoy the meticulous craftsmanship and sophisticated composition. Ellen Stein's award-winning composition, Itineraries No. 1, relies on repeating colors and shapes and a rectangular six-panel grid of organization of the complex composition. Stein, who is trained as an art historian, began to study collage seriously after viewing the work of African-American master collage artist Romare Bearden at the High Museum. Stein frequently works with abstract forms organized into grids. In speaking of her work, she commented, I like the grid structure as an expression of order and organization, stability, and clarity. 
structure and an adherence to rectangular form as a unifying artistic motif also figures prominently in Control Panel and Babylon. Artistic precision and control of the medium are major elements in Cirque It and other works by H. Gay Allen. In viewing this exhibition, I quickly became cognizant of the fact that several of the artists work within a series format that allows them to explore and develop a single subject from multiple perspectives. We have already seen this in the works of abstract artists Crumley and Stein. Arlene Brass also prefers to work in a series format. Can we whisper? And can you hear me invite the viewer to interact with the work that is the heart of the whisper of my wings? by Roxanne Holosi. Collage artists working in more realistic tradition also use the series format to great effect. Ralph Dobbins' Dawn Day and Twilight reveal a sensitive appreciation and acute observation of the natural world, as do Lynn Beach's colorful landscapes, Coral Island in orange, and Blue in Georgia from Piedmont to the mountains. June Kelly's delicate florals May Magnolia and Open Up reflect the artist's deep reverence for nature, as does Joan Geckler's stunning Ender's Island. They say it takes a village to raise a child. It also takes a mini village to produce an exhibition. The staff of the Johns Creek Art Center would like to thank Russell Stroyer for bringing this vibrant organization of talented artists to our attention and suggesting that they exhibit at the Johns Creek Art Center. They have been a joy to work with and this exhibition is stunning. This exhibition would not have been possible without the tireless efforts of Ellen Stein who attended to the nut and bolts of soliciting and delivering the artwork. I would also like to thank Robert Hunter, a former Johns Creek Art Center intern who is kind enough to videotape the exhibition during his period of social distancing. And I would also like to thank Fulton County Arts and Culture for their consistent, generous financial support of the arts, which makes this exhibition possible. I sincerely hope you have enjoyed this virtual viewing of Picking Up the Pieces. We at the Johns Creek Art Center have attempted to pick up the pieces a bit during this difficult time. We could not miss the chance to share this amazing work with you. Thanks again for the amazing artist of the Atlanta Collage Society. 
Stay safe and stay creative.